Greetings, folks. So uh, considering this super rare uh, Autolink quad ring uh, transitional mouthpiece, I thought it would be an interesting video to compare the chamber sizes and internal configurations between the Tone Master, Late Tone Master, uh, Long Bite Plate Double Ring, and uh, the next transitional double ring, Long Bite Plate uh, transitioning to Florida. And we'll take a look at how these uh, chamber sizes and the machining uh, differs between them. Pieces. So here on the left side, we have the late version Tone Master. This is um, uh, Joe Allard facing, JA facing in its original. Um, this is the, the last, well, close to the last version of the Tone Master. Maybe not the total last one with the very flat bite plate, but it's this is the tail end. It's sort of it's this is the the popular sort of blue train models um, with the squared off bite plate edges. So what's interesting here? So here we have the JA Tone Master. Here is the quad ring um, transitional link first Super Tone Master. Here is a long bite plate um, Super Tone Master double ring New York, and here is an a tr I think a transitional uh, double ring no New York. Still has the long bite plate, but no New York stamp, okay? Um, and what's interesting here is looking at just the length, you know, the depth of the cutout in the chamber. Um, if we look at the JA Tone Master, that doesn't really want to focus back there, but if we if we look back um, in the, the cutout in the chamber there, um, the, the Tone Master is pretty far back. I haven't measured it, but um, it's pretty far back, and it's a little bit deeply cut out, but it's a short cutout. Um, next, we go to um, the quad ring, and it appears to be the cutout is even further back than the late period Tone Master. And these are, well, let's see, is the Tone Master a little bit in front? Let me take a look here. Okay, so I had the Tone Master maybe a little bit in front. Here, looking at it, well, I have to say it still looks, and it's that's, it's not in front now, that's just an optical illusion. Um, it still looks, the, the cutout, the chamber cutout for the quad ring link is still a little bit further back than the, the Tone Master. A little bit further in there. There we go. Okay, we can see that. See, it's just just a, a hair deeper. So the, the, the floor of the mouthpiece is just a hair longer. Okay, now we go over to the long bite plate New York Super Tone Master, the true Super Tone Master, and seriously, um, that cutout is much closer to us. I mean, the, the 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 ramp, the floor of the mouthpiece is much shorter. I mean, not much, but significantly. You can see it with your eye. These two are close. The uh, quad ring is a little bit further back. The Su New York Super Tone Master double ring, that chamber is further forward. And now go over to the tranny. Um, long bite plate, no New York stamp, and you know, it looks to my eye about the same, maybe even a little more forward. Yeah, maybe, maybe a hair more forward than the New York double ring long bite plates. I mean, these are pretty close, and, and these machining, you know, uh, events, you know, may not have been as precise as we might think, but it's interesting, uh, if you look, the see the chamber the cutout is pretty short um, in the in the tone master right it's about the same here but I have to say to my eye um, it's more subtle in the, uh, the this is the quad ring here you can see the, the rings there there's the quad ring and to me that chamber looks more subtle like it's it's less cut out when you look at it in the light it's actually quite obvious and you can kind of see it here um, it's just less pronounced it's just not it's not as a, not as intense a cutout, not as big a chamber as the Tone Master. But then we go to the Super Tone Master double ring, and well, it's kind of bigger again. It's more forward, but that cutout looks bigger to me as well. And the floor is higher. The, the Tone Master, we can see it's kind of it's kind of uh, bored out. The the floor has a concavity to it, which which the quad ring does not so much. And then we go over to the New York, and well, that looks kind of similar. The height of the floor looks similar, but the cutout of the chamber is bigger. And here on the transitional 
non-New York stamp, the, the cutout is still big. And then if we look at if we look at the side walls, maybe we'll see some some issues. So the earlier tone masters would have a deeper cut on the side walls. The whole chamber is bigger. Um, this one it does not look huge. It looks comparable. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger than the quad ring sidewall cutout um, and the super tone master their sidewalls are getting a little smaller there as you can see the sidewall cutout is a little less pronounced here it's a little rounder here it's roundest but you know that's a matter of eyeballing it it's kind of hard to say for sure but anyway it's it's an interesting look there you can see that big chamber cutout this is a smaller grind out bigger again and still pretty big um, to my eye, the quad ring looks the smallest of them all, um, but the Tone Master is a shorter mouthpiece. All right, well, that's a look. That's a first look. Now, I should note here that, um, you know, my little finger's a little bit small, and I usually <laughs> I stick that into the shank of the mouthpiece um, and feel the chamber from the back end, and um, that's just a habit, you know. I don't know. I learned it. It's a habit from years ago. And... Uh, between these three mouthpieces, I mean, it's clear from feeling that the Tone Master chamber is bigger from the back end. Um, the quad ring gets s smaller, significantly smaller, and the long bite plate New York is also a little bit small, um, similar to the quad ring, and the next transitional is still similar. So although the um, chambers, the, the grinding in the chambers, uh, for example, is shorter in the Tone Master and longer in the quad ring, and then even longer maybe in the long bite plate double rings. Um, how deeply they are ground out. Uh, the Tone Master is the deepest, um, and, and maybe maybe the quad ring is the least deep, but it seems a little bit similar to the later transitional no New York long bite plate um, double ring. Um, the New York bite plate double ring is maybe a little bit bigger, but it's still uh, smaller than the Tone Master. That's worth mentioning.